Hello Dota to prayers, what's up, what's up, what's up, uh, welcome to another video. So why are we playing a Dota? In big team fights I had like huge CPU usage and FPA drops. Then I started to research, research, right? I was googling. <laughs> and I think I found solution. Because before those changes that I made like in settings in Dota and on Steam, uh, my CPU usage was going on 95%, TP was dropping like from uh, 60 to like 40, something like that. And now it's much better, like CPU usage is not going higher than 70% and FPS is not dropping below like uh, 55. What is really important, you do not need to download anything, install anything, we are just going to change some settings in Dota and on Steam. These changes we are going to do in 3 steps. For the first step, go to settings, then video. After that, first thing that you should do is to check in options what rendering API is selected for you. You should use the one that is recommended for you. In my case, that is Direct uh, X11, so I'm using that one. Second thing that we are going to do, go and select advanced settings. And in advanced settings, you can select normal maps, animate portrait, V-Sync, high quality dashboard, and speckler. When we are talking about VSync, some people are saying it should be off, some people are saying it should be on. In my case, it works much better when it's on. And some people are uh, saying, I'm, I'm not sure about this, when it's on, you're protecting your GPU that is not going to overheat. You can use it off, you can use it on. I'm using on because it's worked much better for me that way. But if you're using it off, you should set up your maximum FPS and to set up your maximum frames per second allowed you can use it on this scale here but you can also and I think it's better I'm not certain but I think it's better if you are set up in that uh, by using the command you can see in this left uh, box here and I'm gonna write somewhere on the screen the command the command is plus FPS underscore max and then you just write the number that you want your max fps to be and this command you need to write in launch option on steam so i'm using vsync on and so let's check uh, this out okay when we're talking about texture quality you should use it on high but if you still got some issues try uh, to use it on medium on effects quality, select low, and shadow quality, put on off. So this is everything for step number one. Let's go to step number two. A change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. For step number two, you need to go on your Steam, then to library, and then right click on Dota 2, go to properties, after that, Go to General, Launch Options, and then write these two commands, like Novid. Novid is basically uh, meaning that when you're opening Dota, you're not going to load that uh, intro video. Second thing, second command is Map Dota. It means that uh, you're going to load Map when you're opening Dota and not when you're joining a game. So that is all for step number two. Let's go to step number three. For step number three, you also need to go to open your Steam, then to library, right click Dota 2, go to properties, then go to local files. After that, Go to Browse, Browse Local Files, then go to Game, Dota, Panorama, Videos, and here we are going to delete all these videos here. And do not worry, in few seconds I'm going to show you up how to easily recover all of those files, or you can simply backup them somewhere else if you wanna. It's your call, but you should not be worried, in like literally few seconds I'm gonna show you up how to recover all those files. So let's go, select everything, and just delay them. 
Okay, that was everything for step number three. So now I'm gonna show you up how you can very easily cover all those videos if you need them. If in any moment you need those files that we just deleted, those videos, you just need to open Steam, go to library, right click to Dota, properties, then go to local files, and just simply verify integrity of game files. Press left click and Steam is going to do everything for you, like, it's going to take some time, you basically need to download them again, like, and that is all. So you do not need to worry if you need those videos in any moment, like. We did step number one, step number two, and step number three. This fourth step that I show you up is just if you in any moment wanted to recover those files. Those files should stay deleted, like, if everything is working fine for you now, like. And you got option if you wanted to recover in any moment, you know how. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Till the next video. Bye bye.